Hi, I'm going to quickly demonstrate preparing a panoramic image for upload to the Trek photography sites. Today I'll be using the free software, the GIMP. I'm going to demonstrate a couple of methods. I have here my panoramic image. It was created in the Photoshop Elements program. The GIMP does have some panorama plugins, but they're a little advanced and I've yet to spend some time to figure those out yet. My first method, I'm going to use the very easy method. I'll first select the rectangular select tool and refer to my tool options lower in the tool dock. I'll place a check mark in the fixed aspect ratio. The aspect ratio is uh, optional, but I want to work in an aspect ratio here. I'm going to use the 3.2 to 1 ratio. For a good explanation of the ratios we need for this upload, I would suggest referring to one of my earlier videos on my YouTube channel. For a second option, I can also select what type of guidelines to use in my bounding box. I have center lines, rule of thirds, and the golden selections. I'll use golden selections today. As I drag my bounding box it will stay in the 3.2 to 1 ratio. This is a good ratio for the uploads of panoramas. Once I've made my selection and composed it, I can apply the crop by entering image and crop to selection. This is the quick, quickest and simplest way to prepare my image. It can now be resized and saved for the large and small post. I choose the 3.2 to 1 ratio because it will resize to 800 pixels in length and still maintain a 250 pixel height so I feel that it's the optimum ratio for a panoramic type of image. I'll undo those changes and demonstrate a, a second method for doing this. I'll refer back to my rectangular select tool options. This time I'm going to uncheck the fixed aspect ratio option. That way I can crop to any ratio that I want and adapt the image in a, another method. This way I give priority to cropping to the shape and composition that I want my aspect to be in rather than doing it in the one that I need it to be in. Once I've made my selection I can again apply the crop. In order to change the actual aspect ratio of this image, I'm going to first manipulate some of the numbers for the image. To do this, I'm going to enter the print size dialog. In the print size dialog, I can change the perceived width or height of the image without actually changing the image. I want my measure to be in inches and I'm going to change the width to 32 inches. When I click on the height field the height will fall into lines with that measure and so will the X and Y resolution. So there's no actual resizing being done here. It's I'm just changing how the program perceives the print to be. then I can enter image and canvas size. I'm going to add some canvas to the image in order to make it into the proper ratio. As you can see the width category carries the number 32 inches because I changed it in the print dialog. 
We're going to unconstrain the proportions because I only want to add height now. If I left it constrained, then my present aspect ratio would also remain. In order to choose the color of my canvas in this program, I refer back to my Tools Options doc. And here I have the option for foreground and background colors. I want my uh, background color to be black if I would like a black canvas. Or I can switch, switch it around. And there's also a color picker for these two options. I'm going to go with a black background canvas. All I need to do now is adapt the height. By changing it to 10, I will change the ratio of this image to 3.2 to 1. That would be 32 divided by 10 and 10 divided by 10 to arrive at the ratio. With that selected, I can now center the image on the canvas. This will place the canvas on both top and bottom equally. I'll also have to pick the layers I would like to resize because this function could involve a multitude of layers. I'll select all layers and resize. As you can see black bars are added to the top and the bottom now. That's my additional canvas and the image is in a 3.2 to 1 ratio so can be resized or upload. So I'll resize the image very quickly. I'll do that by entering image, scale image, set a width of 3000 pixels. The height will follow suit. I want to be ensured that the constrained proportion options is in place. This can be clicked and breaking the chain unconstrains the proportions but we'll want them constrained here. For interpolation I'll pick Sync Lanxos 3 as being the superior filter. Scale the image and save it for my large posting. I'll rename it. Save. This will call up the saving options. My quality meter is graduated in percentage basis. If I check mark the show preview in image window, it will calculate the file size at the present quality setting. I'll re reduce the quality to meet the 400 kilobyte guideline. 82% does that. Save the image and resize it for my small post. Entering a width of 800 pixels. Again, the height will follow suit. You can see the 3.2 to 1 ratio has given me my minimum height of 250 pixels. Interpolation, length so 3, scale. And save the image as my small post. Enter the saving options. I'll be able to raise the quality setting quite high. 98% will usually do. And I'll save that. I use the quality setting of 98% because in many programs that don't use a percentage basis saving option, 98 and 97 are typically the highest saving options. Uh, many programs don't take into consideration that a person may want to perform a lossless JPEG save. Part of the idea of a JPEG is compressing the file into a smaller form. So, so that would be the two methods that I know of to adapt an image to the proper proportions for an upload to the Trek photography sites.